Greetings Earthlings and welcome back to The Deuce. This is just a quick video walking through why you might need to use a piece of software like Rogue Amoeba's Loopback with Discord and then walking through how to set up Loopback for use with Discord on Mac. So let's go ahead and dive into it. The obvious first thing you want to try is go into Discord, go into your settings, and then go into the voice and video settings, and then for your input and your output device, select your audio interface. For this demo, I am using the Mo2 M2, so that is what I have selected from the dropdown for the input, as well as the audio output. Unfortunately, it's not always that simple, and hey, Discord, Andrew here, you can tell because I'm using a crappy web Cam. The audio that you're hearing is the audio that is being captured on the other end of a Discord call. It's incredibly choppy, it's unintelligible, it is pretty much useless. In order to resolve this, we're going to use a piece of software called Rogue Amoeba Loopback. Unfortunately, this is only available on Mac, and it's one of the main reasons why I stick on Mac, all of the Rogue Amoeba software. But when you open up Loopback, what we're going to do is create a new virtual device. So we'll go ahead and click this plus button. What we'll name this is Discord Demo Device. And then we need to add our audio interface as an input source. So we'll click on the plus button under sources. We'll scroll down and select the M2 as our input device. And you can see the M2 show up with all six of its sources, which is likely what is causing the issue with Discord. It just doesn't know what to do with six input sources. So by creating this new virtual device, we are essentially down mixing all of this to a single two channel output which is something that Discord is much more easily able to handle. By default, this routes input 1 to the left-hand channel and input 2 to the right-hand channel, which we will change in a little bit. But if you don't want to fiddle about, this should still technically work. So let's jump back over to Discord. Again, let's go into user settings, voice and video. For the output device, we are leaving that the same because we're still using the Motu M2 to listen to all of the audio. But for the input device, we are replacing the M2 with this new device we created, Discord Demo Device. We can go ahead and double check that it's working by clicking this mic test button. Testing, testing, is this working? Yes, it speech jams me, it's very difficult to talk. Once I have the microphone selected, I'm going to restart Discord to make sure nothing funky is going on. Discord is back up and running. I double checked the input device was still correct. I rejoined the voice call and that is why Discord Bander is back, baby. Crappy webcam for life. And as you can hear, this is audio captured on the receiving end of a call. The issue has been resolved. I am no longer choppy. I am now intelligible. And you can be the judge on whether or not that is a good or bad thing. I think it's good. But jumping back to my main computer and loop back, we do have a potential issue here because it does have the default routing. Because input 2 is being routed to the right hand channel and Discord down mixes the left and right channel to mono, this could lead to an issue if you have the preamp on input 2 turned up with nothing plugged in. Listen to it the noise floor got significantly worse. So if you are not using input 2, go ahead and remove that connection. All you do is click on the wire and then type command delete, and that will remove that connection. You'll also notice that we're only routing input 1 to the left-hand channel. We are not limited there. If we want, we can route input 1 to multiple output sources. Let's quickly jump back to Discord Bandrew. What you're hearing is input 1 just going to the left-hand channel. Let me go ahead and add a new connection by clicking and holding and dragging a new wire to the right-hand channel. And what did you hear? The audio got significantly louder. The reason that happens is Discord takes the stereo input and down mixes it to mono. And because input 1, the left hand channel, and input 2, the right hand channel, are identical, when it is mixed to mono, those sound sources compound on each other and get louder. And Discord is apparently not doing any kind of compensation for that potential increase in level. I just wanted to point that out because I know a lot of people complain about Discord microphones being a bit too quiet. This is a really simple way to get a few more decibels of level. 
All right, that's all that I've got for you today. Thank you very much for Forgotten for requesting this video. I appreciate it so much. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. Thanks for watching. Thanks for listening. Bye-bye. Whoa, whoa, boop.